Hello and welcome. My name is Danelle Numis, and this is a practice to help you fly like a firefly. Today's practice will need two blocks and a sticky mat, and let's get started. We'll start in Balasana, child's pose. So come onto your knees, take your knees wide and your toes to touch, and send your hips back to your heels. Walk two straight arms out in front of you, so you can rest your chest, turn your forehead to the earth. Press so much into your hands that your sitting bones reach back towards your heels and melt your heart, chest, and chin towards the earth. Take a deep breath, inhale, and a deep breath, exhale. Deep breath, inhale, deep breath, exhale. One more round, feel grounded and settled. Start to notice the opening that's happening through the chest and through the outer hips. And then from here, on your next inhale, press into your hands and slowly rise up into tabletop position. We're gonna start with some hip circles. So you'll anchor the left knee to the mat, sweep your right leg to the ceiling, open up the right hip, kind of like you're a dog at a fire hydrant, and then draw your right knee towards your right shoulder. That's the best analogy I could come up with. Inhale, sweep your right leg high, open the right hip, and exhale, draw it in. Good, another more round, inhale. Don't be too hard on yourself here. Just get a little bit more rotation going through the hip area and exhale. And then from here, we'll come onto hands and knees and rock the hips to the right. Gaze over your left shoulder. And then back through center, rock the hips to the left. And your hips don't have to touch the mat. Just a little bit of stretch in the outer hip area. And back through center. Let's do that again. So right knee stays down this time. Float the left leg up. Open up the left hip, keep your arms straight, draw your left knee to your left arm, and bring it back. Again, inhale, left leg goes up to the sky, open the left hip slightly, keep the arms straight, left knee to your left arm. One more time, inhale, left leg goes high, open the left hip, and exhale, draw it down and in. Good. This time, drop the hips to the left and gaze to the right little hip rock and back through center and hips to the right. Gaze to the left. Back through center, separate your knees once again, hip distance apart. And then for cat cow, we'll inhale, pull your heart forward, cow pose, and then exhale, press and round the spine, coil in for cat pose. Inhale, pull your heart through your arms, shoulders roll back. Exhale, press into your hands, round your spine and coil in. Good, one last time. Inhale, melt your heart, shoulders behind you. Exhale, press and round, coil in. Come back through center, walk your hands slightly forward, curl your toes under and we'll press up and back to downward facing dog. From here, right away, we keep moving. Inhale, lift your heels, round your spine forward, just like cat pose to land into a plank position. Strong arms, strong legs, lift you up and back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, lift your heels, round your spine forward, strong arms, strong legs, high plank. Exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, lift your heels, round your spine forward, come through high plank position, strong arms, strong legs. And exhale, pull back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Half a round to get us back to plank, so inhale, go slow, round your spine, unravel into plank position. And then maybe drop to your knees or lower through a full push up, moving all the way down. Stabling with Cobra from here, turn the tops of the feet to the mat, walk your hands beneath your elbows, press down, rise up, inhale. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, press down, rise up. Maybe put some weight into your hands here. And then exhale, take it back down. One more time, inhale, rise up. 
Cobra pose. Exhale and fold. Good. Curl your toes under. Power up the legs and arms as you inhale, high plank or tabletop. And then go all the way back, downward facing dog pose. Cleansing breath here. Inhale. Melt your heart towards your thighs. Exhale. Bring your toes together to touch. Inhale, sweep a straight right leg high to the sky. And then as you exhale, draw your right knee to your right tricep. So kind of like where we were in tabletop, right knee to right arm, but the left knee is lifted. Again, inhale, right leg goes up and back. And then exhale this time, bring your right knee to your right arm, step your right foot wide outside of your right hand. Maybe claim your blocks for a little bit of help with length in your arms. Hands to the mat or hands to the block. So you can come onto your fingertips as well. This is called lunge pulse. You'll inhale, pull your heart through your arms. And then exhale, round your spine, coil in, chin towards your chest. Again, inhale, extend from the back heel to the crown of your head. Exhale, squeeze the inner thighs and round. One more time. Inhale, pull your heart through. And exhale, round in. Return to your wide lunge. Move the blocks to the side. Plant your hands to the mat. Step your right foot back to meet your left. High plank. And then exhale, lower all the way down. So transition from here will be Shalabhasana. You can either reach your arms alongside your body or interlace your grip behind your lower back. Bring your chin or your forehead to the earth. Take a deep breath, inhale. And then exhale, fly. Extend your arms, extend your legs. Power in the arms, power in the legs. Deep breath in and exhale, lower back down. Return your hands outside of your breastbone, curl your toes under, deep breath, inhale. Exhale, high plank or tabletop, and back, downward facing dog. Good. From here, bring your toes back to touch, left leg goes high, inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, left knee to your left arm, open up the left hip. Inhale, left leg goes high. And then draw the left knee once again outside of your left arm so you can step your left foot wide outside of your left hand. Reclaim your blocks, hands to blocks or hands to the mat for lunge pulse. Power in both legs. Inhale as you extend your heart forward. Exhale, round your spine. Keep the left knee bent here, chin to chest. Again, inhale, heart pulls through, shoulders roll back. Exhale, press down and round. One more time, inhale and exhale. Move the blocks to the side, plant your hands down. Gently move your left foot back to meet your right high plank and lower all the way down to your belly. Either again, Shalabhasana with arms down by your side or interlace your grip the other way. Chin or forehead rest to the mat. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, fly. Extend your arms, extend your legs. Feel the opening through the chest and the extension from the back toes to the crown of your head. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. Hands again outside of your breastbone. Curl toes under, deep breath, inhale. Exhale, press up and back. Downward facing dog. Toes to touch, right leg high again. Inhale, second set. Exhale, right knee to your right tricep. Keep it high, open the hip. Inhale, right leg goes high. Exhale, right foot outside of your right hand. Reclaim your blocks, you'll need them here. Come through a wide lunge. Inhale, pull your heart through. This time, pyramid pulsation. Right leg straightens as your left leg straightens and you fold over your front leg. Inhale, so re-bend to the right knee, keep your back leg strong. Exhale, straighten both legs, lift your hips and maybe fold deeper. One more time, bend the right knee, pull your heart forward. 
Exhale, straighten the right leg and bow. Good. Rebend the right knee, move the props to the side. Plant your hands down, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the earth. Shalabhasana, going back to the first side or any other variation that may be calling to you. Chin or forehead to the mat, deep breath in. Exhale, fly. Extend your arms, extend your legs. Maybe the second set, you get a little bit more power through the heart, a little, little bit more power through the legs. One more inhale, breath. Exhale, release. Hands return outside of the breastbone, curl your toes under, deep breath in. Exhale, high plank or tabletop, and all the way back, downward facing dog. Toes come to touch, left leg goes high, inhale. Exhale, left knee to your left arm, tap it wide. Inhale, left leg goes to the ceiling. Exhale, step it wide, left foot outside of your left hand. Reclaim your blocks. Pull your heart forward, wide-legged lunge. Inhale. Exhale, pyramid, wide pyramid. Straighten both legs and fold. Again, bend the left knee. Inhale, pull your hips forward, heart lifts. Exhale, straighten-ish your left leg and bow. Bend the left knee, inhale. So the front leg, when it straightens, it doesn't have to be completely straight. You move it to a comfortable edge so you can fold. Now rebend your left knee, move the blocks to the side. Plant your hands down, step back, high plank. Exhale, all the way down. Final Shalabhasana here. Reach back, interlace your grip, maybe the awkward way. Left thumb on top, usually. Chin or forehead to the mat. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, fly. Extend your arms and extend your legs. Press back through the balls of your feet. Reach to the crown of your head. Open up through the chest. Hold there for three. For two. And one, release. Good, bring your hands inside of your breastbone. Curl your toes under, deep breath, inhale. Exhale, high plank or tabletop. And all the way back, downward facing dog. Cleansing breath. Inhale. And open mouth. Exhale. Come down to your knees, please. And grab your blocks. Go ahead and face you for this one. This is called uh, Tolasana or Scales Pose. So you'll have your blocks on your uh, mat probably on the second setting to start. Let's start with that. And we'll start with cross shins. So maybe let's do right shin on top of the left. Try to hug your knees closer towards your chest and draw your heels closer in towards your booty. I can show you first or you can just try it along with me. We'll take an inhale, press into the blocks, lift your heart. Exhale, press so much into the blocks that your booty can lift and then draw your heels in towards your seat. Hold there for three, two, and one. Release, down, shake it out. Did you breathe? Make sure you remember to do that. Switch sides, we'll cross the left and on top of the right. Once again, it's really easy for our legs to kind of fall out here. So draw them up and in. So they're a little bit closer towards your body. You can certainly stay on this level of block or you can lower it down a little bit more. Hands to the blocks, lift your heart, take an inhale. Exhale, press into your hands, lift your booty, scoop the belly up and then draw your heels up. Three, two, and one, release, shake that out. Make sure you get a good shake there. And the final one we will do is low lasana, where we'll actually come on to our knees. Feet will come behind you. It's very similar to what we just did, lifting the body up off of the mat, but a little bit higher on here, and a little different banda, or root lock in the belly. So, hands to the blocks. You'll lift your heart again. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, press down, draw your knees in and your toes in. Hold there for three, Woo, two, and one. Release, nice job, shake it out. 
You can move your blocks to the top edge of your mat again, and we'll come back to our seat for these reverse tabletop sweeps. We'll also only do three of these. So the hands are gonna come behind you, fingertips face front, knees are bent, and feet to the mat. You'll press into your hands, lift your hips up, lift your heart up, take an inhale, and then as you exhale, we'll scoop the hips back behind our hands, lift the belly, maybe lift your legs. Okay, again, inhale, lift your hips up, shoulders roll back. Exhale, scoop the hips back, lift the belly, maybe lift your legs. One more time, inhale, lift up, shoulders back. Exhale, scoop the belly back, lift your belly, Lift your legs, three, two, one, release. Nice job, thanks for making me work today. That was good, okay. Come on to your seat again, hug your knees into your chest and start to rock forward and back, letting that all go, forward and back. One more rock, gain enough momentum so you can come into a forward fold. So feet to the mat, and forehead towards your toes. From here, you can separate your feet hip distance apart and let your head and neck relax. Maybe sway the body side to side. Circle the wrists. You can certainly add a little Pada Hastasana here. Hands to feet. Some people call this gorilla pose. Feet to wrists. And you give your wrists a little massage. Make sure the weight's not tracking too far back onto your heels or you'll tip over. Also, not too far forward, or the same thing will happen. You find equal distribution of the weight. Let the head and neck hang heavy. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Okay, good. Release your gorilla if you have it, and you can keep your feet hips distance apart here. Inhale to a halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana, lift the belly and exhale, fold Uttanasana. From here, Malasana, frog squat. Turn your toes out and your heels in and sit down. Some people like to place a block beneath their booty to have a little cushion there so you can help upright your spine. If that's not necessary, of course, you let go of the block when you want to. And the hands come to your heart as the elbows press into your knees. Simultaneously, the knees press back into your elbows. Just hold for a few breaths. Think extension of your spine. Roll the shoulders back and feel the groundedness of your feet and your hips. And at the same time, this almost ethereal light quality through the upper body, through the torso. Deep breath, inhale. Deep breath, exhale. Good, okay, from here, come on back to Uttanasana. And then from here, we'll actually just walk it back to downward facing dog. So if you'd like to go through a connecting vinyasa, of course, you are free to do so. Otherwise, we'll go a little easy on ourselves today and step back into downward facing dog. Once you're there, bring the toes together to touch. Sweep a straight right leg high to the sky. Open up the right hip, bend your right knee, three-legged dog. Try not to dip too much into the left side body. Press so much into your hands that the shoulders stay square. And think length in both sides. Draw your right heel towards your left butt cheek so you get a little more stretch down the right side body as well. Now inhale, straighten your right leg, square the hips and the shoulders. One set, right knee to your right tricep, open the right hip. Inhale, right leg goes up and back. This time we'll bring it down the center to step through to the center line, warrior two base. Turn the back heel flat and inhale, rise to warrior two. Okay, relax your shoulders. Bend the right knee deeply over your right ankle and send energy through the back leg. Reverse warrior, keep the legs as they are. Left hand comes down and the right arm goes high. Turn the palm to the back of the room and reach away from your right knee to your right fingertips. Breathe into your right rib cage. Take another breath. Inhale. 
Extended side angle, exhale. Take a block inside of your right foot. Place your right hand on the block. Dig your right knee to your right elbow and then open to the left. Start with the left hand on the left hip. Feel the extension down the right inner thigh as you open to the left. Option from here, left arm to the sky or left arm alongside your ear. Parsva Konasana. I like the hand inside of the foot so you get a little bit more adduction of your right knee to your right elbow. That connection there helps with the stretch of the right inner thigh. Make sure you remember the back leg, so press down more through your back leg to extend through the left side body. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good. From here, rise on up to warrior two. And then cartwheel the hands down outside of your front foot. Come onto the ball of the left foot, drop to your left knee for half splits. Ardha Hanumanasana, reclaim your blocks, and then retract the hips back as you straighten out the right leg. Walk your blocks underneath your shoulders. Lengthen from the tail to the crown as you inhale, and just bend the elbows slightly to pull your heart closer towards your right leg. Inhale, back off, lengthen, long spine. Exhale and fold, deepen in. One more time, inhale, flat back. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift your heart, relax your shoulders. Exhale and fold. From here, we'll bend the right knee and come into a runner's lunge. So I like to bring my blocks inside of the right foot as I walk the right foot out a little bit wider. You can lower the hands to the blocks on the first, second, or third setting. Some of you might even like to lower your forearms to the blocks. Some people can go deep enough that maybe they use the block to rest their forehead down. If you're not one of these people, don't judge yourself. We all have different levels for a reason. And it's important to know where your limitations are. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. That's just the nature of how life goes. So from here, you can certainly stay in this beautiful, deep hip opening stretch. I love this one because you're both getting the outer right hip on the right side and the front thigh on the left. If you're ready to move on, you can take an easy twist, starting with the right hand to the right inner thigh. You twist gently to the right. You can stay there or maybe reach your right arm to the sky. Some of you might, of course, like to go deeper where you can lower your left forearm to a block or to the mat and still continue with the twist. It's very slight. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to rotate. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good, let's do one more round here. Go ahead and release. Curl the left toes under, lift the back knee, and we'll walk it into prasarita facing the left. So toes slightly in, heels slightly out. Come onto your fingertips, look up and lengthen, halfway lift and then exhale, fold. From here, I'd really like to take the hands in line with the toes, bend your elbows so they're over the wrists, and try to press the mat away from you as you come deeper. Some of you might stay here with either with hands on blocks or hands to the mat, but if you can, walk your hands back a little bit, maybe even bending the knees in order to make this happen so you can kind of come into this tortoise shell shape tortoise shell shape. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let's do one more round. Come on up to a halfway lift as you inhale and then quarter turn back to the front of the mat as you exhale. Step the left foot to meet your right, top of your space, Uttanasana. Inhale to a halfway lift, exhale and fold. Bend your knees, plant the hands, and once again, let's just walk it back to downward 
facing dog pose. Okay, from here, toes to touch. Inhale, left leg starts high up and back. This time, open the left hip and bend your left knee. Try to press down equally through both hands. Draw the right heel down to the sticky mat and roll the left hip open. Avoid collapsing into that right side. Keep both side bodies long and draw your left heel toward your right booty this time. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Restraighten the left leg, square off the hips and shoulders, draw left knee to your left tricep, open the left hip. Inhale, left leg goes up and back. This time you bring it through, down the center step, left foot to the center line. Turn the back heel down, parallel with the back edge of your mat, ground through both feet, and inhale, rise on up to warrior two. Find your alignment again. Shoulder stack over your hips. Depth in the front knee, but equal distribution going back into the right foot. Extend the arms wide and relax the shoulders. Stay with the legs and reverse the warrior. Right hand comes down, left arm goes high. If you find yourself twisting too much to the ceiling, try to draw the left ribs forward so it becomes more of a side bend. Take another inhale, reach back. Extended side angle with a block. So grab a block, place it inside of your left foot. Left hand to the block, left elbow to left knee. Right hand to the right hip. Press your hips forward, roll your shoulders back. Option to stay here or reach your right arm to the sky. Maybe to extend the arm alongside your ear, you can first lower it down to your right hip, cross the horizon, relax the right shoulder, and reach it forward. Most importantly, find the connection of elbow to knee and press equal weight into that back foot, getting a long line of energy down the right side. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more breaths on your own. This is probably one of my favorite postures because it's not only a hip opener, but it's a little bit of a twist. So you're developing a lot of strength in your legs as you rotate your torso to the ceiling. Good, let's rise back up to warrior two and then cartwheel the hands down outside of your front foot. Come onto the ball of the right foot, drop to your right knee, half splits. Reclaim your blocks. If you don't want the blocks, you don't have to use them. Extend your left leg towards straight. Notice that my right hip is over my right knee as I pull back. Maybe I walk the blocks back to make it a little bit more accessible. Inhale, extend from the tail to crown and then bend the elbows to bow forward. Again, inhale, halfway out, Ardha Hanumanasana. Exhale, bow down. One last time, inhale, Ooh, feel the stretch in those hamstrings. Yes, exhale, fold. Good, runner's lunge, re-bend the left knee. Bring your blocks now inside of your left foot and walk your left foot out to the side. You can stay high in the blocks. This is certainly a great variation. Or lower your blocks to different levels. Lower your forearms down. Many choices here. So I give you lots of options. Stay here for a few rounds of breath. Mostly noticing the balance of side to si side. To side. Yoga is a practice of dualities. So another reason I love this pose is that it really does have a great way of balancing both the left and right side. Keep breathing. Maybe stay here, a perfectly good option, or start with a twist. You can climb back up onto your hands. I like hands on blocks. Great modification. You could take your left hand to your left inner thigh and start to twist to the left. Option to stay, or maybe reach your left arm to the ceiling. Of course, if you still want more depth, you can certainly lower the blocks to a different setting or lower your forearm down. Deep breath in to lengthen. And deep breath out to twist. Two more on your own.
fantastic. Slowly release. Bring your blocks back to center. Float the back knee up. And then once again, we'll crawl to the right side. So we land in prasarita for the second time. So adjust your stance accordingly. Either feet are completely parallel or toes slightly in, heel slightly out. Come on to your fingertips. Inhale. And once again, soften the knees as you need to. Crawl your hands back. So maybe they're more in line with your toes. Again, if that's not happening, you can certainly stay here. If you have this comfortably, maybe you walk your hands a little bit further back so your fingertips come in line with your heels. And again, you press the mat away from you as you come into a fold. Micro bend the knees as needed, no need to hyperextend. And you send your sitting bones high as you fold belly between your thighs. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Okay, inhale, come up to a halfway lift. And then we'll quarter turn to the left to land in the left leg lunge. Walk your left toes out a little bit wider so you can now step your right foot outside of your right hand, landing back in Malasana yogic squat. So for Malasana, I'm gonna hop back just a little bit. We're gonna work into a couple different variations. The first is tortoise shell. So from here, you'll lift your hips up, parallel your feet, and some of you might even take your feet off of the sticky mat, and that's fine if you wanna face the side as well. Take your right shoulder, gently press it behind your right calf, and breathe there for a few breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, slowly unwind. And we'll try the other side. You can shake out your hips a little bit. This is a big leg, leg exercise. Left shoulder gently behind the left calf, or at least grazing it. And breathe, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So from here, both sides hopefully are a little more open and we're gonna add in the double sides. So I'm gonna take my feet a little bit closer together, bend my knees a lot, try to draw the right shoulder behind the right calf and the left shoulder behind your left calf. Now squeeze your legs together, find the adduction of your legs. Let your head and neck relax and just breathe. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Let's release that. Come all the way up to standing. My legs are on fire, so I'm sure yours are too. So let's just give it a little rock side to side. That's a big one. So we're gonna try to add on from there into what we call Bhuja Pidasana. So you'll take your blocks to the sticky mat on the lowest setting, you'll place your feet about a foot maybe in front of the blocks. And we'll come back into our tortoise shell for Bhuja Pidasana, seed pose. So feet again wide. Let's just inhale, reach the arms up, press your hips forward, little hip flexor stretch, and then exhale, flow low all the way down. Right shoulder again behind the right calf, Left shoulder again behind the left calf. Squeeze your legs, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now place your hands to the blocks so the palms land onto the blocks and the fingertips wrap around the front edge. Turn your gaze forward, bend your elbows so you can sit your hip, hip bones back down towards the arms. And then walk your feet closer in towards your blocks. Think back to that core exercise we did, toe lasana. Same thing here. We'll float one foot up and then the other foot. And the great thing about this is that we can cross the ankles, squeeze the legs, squeeze the toes together and find a little balance pose. Are you breathing? Are you balancing? Good thing is that if you fall out of this, you just fall on your butt and come back up. Can we try it again? If you lost it, come back with me. So forward bend, let's do the left shoulder behind the left calf, right shoulder behind the right calf, squeeze your legs, 
and maybe hands to the blocks. Fingertips again are on the front, palms down. Bend your elbows, sit back onto your elbows. Walk your toes closer in towards the blocks. Float the left leg up, then the right, maybe cross right ankle over the left. Here's the thing, when you squeeze your feet together, you find so much more control. This is Bhuja Pidasana. Last option is Titi Basana Firefly. Here we go. We can extend the legs out to the sides. As we straighten the legs, straighten the arms, look forward, breathe for three, for two, and one release. Woo! That's a big one. Shake it out, roll to stand, and let's do some of these hip circles. Nice work. Not an easy pose but certainly one that invigorates your soul, right? I like to think of fireflies as being pretty magical, so maybe that's more of a magical posture for you to practice. Let's take it down now. Nice work. Inhale, arms by your ears, reach up, and then exhale, take it all the way down with soft knees. We're gonna lower onto the knees here for this posture I call flash dance asana. So knees wide, toes to touch. You can move the blocks to the side again. Take your right hand behind your right hip, cross the body with your left, uh, left arm, and then press your hips forward as you reach it back. Deep hip flexor stretch. Come on back down, left hand behind your left hip, cross the body with your right, press your hips forward, stretch through the right side body, and then release, rock over onto one side of your seat, and then we'll do supported bridge pose. So gr grab your blocks, one or both, lie back onto your back. So another hip flexor release and a nice way to close out our practice today. You'll press into your feet. Heels are about uh, maybe a foot away from the glutes. You'll lift your hips up, place the block on the first setting underneath the sacrum, that triangular bone at the base of your spine, and you can rest there. If that's enough height for you, enough arch in your back, stay. If you still want more, you can take the second block, press into your feet, lift your hips up, and place the second block on top of the first, resting your tail to the blocks. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Relax your arms down by your side. Close your eyes and enjoy this release. Feel the difference from this shape to what we just made in Torta Shell, Bujapidasana, and Titibasana. Lots of hip flexion, lots of forward folding. Maybe this time you notice that this gentle supported back bend can be a nice counter pose, or what we call pratikriyasana in Sanskrit, from where we just were, what we just experienced. This is also one of my favorite ways to end a practice. So if you want to stay here, by all means, please do so. If you are ready to release into Shavasana, we'll press into the feet, lift the hips up, move the first block away and the second block away, and then lower all the way down to your backs. Good. Hug your knees into your chest. And we'll do really simple supine twists. Just drape the knees over to the right and turn the gaze to the left. Engage your belly, inhale, hug your knees back through center, and then drape your knees over to the left as you gaze to the right. Bring it back through center. Take another squeeze, hugging knees into the chest, and then slowly release into Final surrender, Shavasana. Extend your legs, extend your arms, turn the palms face up, close your eyes, and enjoy final release, Shavasana.
You are always free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you need. When you are ready to release out of it, start to find energy back in your fingertips and toes. Circle your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms alongside your ears and your toes out in front of you. Take a full body stretch. Bend at your knees. And then roll on over to your right side. Letting your head rest in your right arm. Press into your left hand and slowly come on up to a comfortable seat. You can come on up cross-legged or kneeling, whichever you choose, maybe sitting up on a block or a blanket. Sit up nice and tall. And then draw your hands together in prayer for Anjali Mudra. As we close this practice, maybe think about what you'd like to create in your life that can be magical. How do you want to fly like a firefly in your own life? And how can you take this practice off of the mat? With so much love, respect, and deep gratitude for ourselves, one another, and this practice, we bow forward. Namaste.